With about two weeks to go before the transition of power, Sara Duterte is finally sworn in as the Vice President of the Republic. Marian Enriquez gives us a recap of yesterday's inauguration ceremonies. I, Sara Zimmerman Duterte, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill, that I will faithfully and conscientiously fulfill, my duties as Vice President of the Philippines, my duties as Vice President of the Philippines. At around 5 p.m. Sunday, Sara Duterte is sworn in as the 15th Vice President of the Philippines in front of the venues in Davao City. Do justice to every man. And consecrate myself. And consecrate myself. To the service of the nation. To the service of the nation. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations and all the best, Madam Vice President. Thank you. With her on stage is her parents, outgoing President Rodrigo Duterte and Elizabeth Zimmerman, who held the Bible. Supreme Court Associate Justice Ramon Paul Hernando administered the oath of office for VP elect Sara. Right after the oath taking, she hugged her parents. Sara earlier said that she last talked to her father August of last year. Her inaugural speech lasted for 12 minutes which centered on giving honor to God, public service, and protecting the integrity of family. Sarah also shared that her childhood dream is to become a doctor, but God had led her to the field of law and eventually in public service. She was already decided to finish her third term as mayor of Davao City, but destiny had led her to the vice presidency. VP Alexara's inauguration coincides with the 161st birth anniversary of Filipino hero Dr. Jose Rizal. Sarah pleads the public to rekindle the fire of nationalism and sacrifice among us. Magkasama sana tayong bumangon bawat araw kasabay ang nag-aalab na pangako sa ating mga puso na mahal natin Patuloy nating mamahalin ang Pilipinas hanggang tayo ay nabubuhay. Sarah also greeted a happy Father's Day as she pointed out that a strong and loving family are among the basic foundations for a child towards a prosperous growth. According to the VP elect, many among the youth experienced many challenges such as broken family, abuse, bullying, and discrimination among others. It is the family's responsibility to teach children integrity, discipline, and respect. At the end of her speech, Sarah expressed her pride as a Davoeno and as a Filipino. Ako po, si Inday Sara. A proud Davoeno. Very proud. A proud Mindanaoan. Hindi ako ang pinakamagaling. Matalinong tao sa Pilipinas at sa mundo. Ngunit walang makakatalo sa tibay ng puso ko bilang isang Pilipino. Personalities close to the VP elect are related to her inauguration and speech. I'm very proud and very happy for her. Uh... Well, nakakataas balahibo po ang naging mensahe ng ating Vice Presidente. Tiwala po ako, Mayor Inday Sara, VP Inday Sara, that you will be the very best Vice President that this country will ever have. President elect Sara Duterte captured the hearts and minds of the Filipino people whose will was honored today by her oath taking. We can expect is a very hard-working, passionate, action-oriented, and solution-oriented Vice President and Secretary of the Department of Education. As the night progressed, the Vice President-elect accommodated people who wants to take a photo with her. With the backdrop of the City Hall, Sarah literally stood for more than four hours for the photo op. Some of the well-wishers queued up for two hours just to get a glimpse and to congratulate the incoming VP. Ano ma, matapang siya. Matapang siya. Wala siyang inaurungan. Siya, maganda din siya. Matapang niya po at ang thoughtful niya po sa mga tao, lalo na sa mga kapwa Pilipino po. Para, kasi proud, proud po kami sa kanya, tapos mahal po namin ang Vice 
presidente namin. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.